Hey, you. Where do you think you're going? What business is it of yours? Hey, I was just messing with you. Gets a bit boring around here. Well, apart from the rot worms. I'd stay on the walkway and not go too far out into the swamp. Believe me, being eaten by those creatures is not the way a man should go. Hang on, I think I've got a map somewhere you can have. Although, by the looks of you, you could do with a better weapon. Where can I get a better weapon? Depends on what you're after. Some swear by a good blade. Others prefer the heft of an axe. I'm a hunter, so I favour a bow and arrow. I've got a couple of nice specimens here, actually. For the right price, I'm sure I could part with one or two. What do you hunt in the swamp? Less and less. There are only a few beasties. They may look unappetizing, but you'd be surprised what our cook can do. About the only thing left big enough to feed us all is this large worm over to the west. But he's a big fella. I really need help to take him down. Probably a bit of help to keep him down after I've eaten him too. I'm new around here. Got swept in with the tide. What can you tell me about this place? Ah, I see. Well, then there are a few things you should know. This whole swamp area, from here to the temple in the north, is run by Don Esteban, our leader. I wouldn't mess with him if I were you. He's got some fighters working for him that'd break your jaw as happy as look at you. What can you tell me about the temple? Came up from the ground about the time these storms started, and all these beasts came out of it. Never seen the like before. Indescribable, they are. Our fighters soon sorted them out. I doubt there's much still alive in there. Well, apart from the Don. He's moved into the temple now. Don't see him very often. No one really knows what he's doing in there. Me? I say hunt, kill and don't ask too many questions. So, you haven't always been here in the swamp? Nah. We used to have the whole of Harbour Town until the Inquisition came. All their magic and robes and stuff. They pushed us out here. Between you and me, I think the Don's pride took a bit of a knock. He hasn't been the same since. Most folks hate this place, but I like the fresh air. New things to hunt. Always felt too cooped up in town. What are rotworms? Mm, they can't really be described. Indescribable, they are. They're like giant, rotting worms. You can ask Ricardo in the camp. What else can you tell me about the Inquisition? Same as everyone else, really. Don't get too close to them, or you'll find yourself dragged off to that monastery. They're not right in the head. I think they do something to them up there. I'm keeping well away. I advise you to do the same. So, what's your boss doing in the temple? I couldn't say for sure, but he's become very keen on collecting gold at the moment. He's got diggers working these ruins. And he always gives them a share. He's good like that. I think maybe he's planning on trying to take back Harbour Town. Gold commands a lot of power around here. Maybe even more than the Inquisition with their damn cult. Let's trade. How about I help you hunt this worm? Oh, that's good of you. Tell you what, if we kill that thing together, I'll give you 30 gold. I hope you're well prepared. <laughs> Don't want your death on my conscience.
sure you have things to deal with. Hey. Hey. Any trouble today? No. Expecting any? No. Must be fun being a guard. Hmm. Not really. What exactly do you guard in a swamp? Flies. The smell. The dawn. The dawn. Back there in that temple. But my post is here. In the swamp. Sounds like an important job. What is there around here that people need guarding from? You must have seen them. Seen what? Those things. Things? The things from the ruins. There are ruins everywhere. The ones that came up from the ground. The ground is warped or something. That's where these things are? Yeah. They're all over that excavation site in the middle of the swamp. And? They make me nervous. Why? They're... disgusting. Uh-huh. Who's in charge here? The Don. Who? The Don. Right. Where is the Don? In the temple. Is he religious? Ha! So what does he do in there? Avoids being out here. You ever have any problems with the locals? Locals? They give you any trouble, you just smack them around. Or you could try talking to them. You don't talk much. What do I want to talk for? I don't know you. Getting anything out of you is like pulling teeth. That's why I make such a good guard. All right, let's try this question. Tell me more about these things. The ones in the excavation site. They're disgusting. Big insect things. I wish someone would get rid of them. I can. You must have picked up some skills to be a guard. I know how to fight. And I can handle a crossbow. Can you train me? To fire a crossbow? All right. But it will cost you. I'd need pay. Say, 30 gold coins. 30? Yeah. It's worth that to get rid of those things. They're... disgusting. Keep my gold warm. I'll be back for it. I want to improve my fighting skills. I don't want trouble. What are you doing up here? Hiding. Doesn't anyone do anything in this camp? Well, don't get me wrong, I'm a worker. Man of the earth, me. There's nothing fancy about moving soil round, but work is what I do best. So, what are you hiding from? Work. Right. Don't get me wrong, I'd like to be working, 
Only I can't. You see all these huge insects turned up at the excavation site. I'm not going back to work while they're still there. I like my job, but I'm not going to die for it. Which fighters are responsible for protecting the excavation site? Just Ricardo, but I've not seen him there for a while. Don't think he cares much about us workers. He'll care if the work doesn't get done, and he ends up doing it. I'll have a word with him. Okay. But don't tell him I told you. He's almost as bad as those creatures. Tell me about your work. About digging? Well, like I say, it may be dirty work, but someone's got to do it. You fancy trying? Just look for a sandy spot in one of the excavation sites, then you stick your shovel in the ground and dig. Who knows? You might even find something. I'll take care of those insects. You? Why not let the fighters do it? And that's what they're there for. Do you see any here, though? I'll take care of it. Aren't you supposed to be protecting the excavation site in the swamp? I am. The worker, Brannan. He says he's been waiting forever for you. I don't care about workers. I can see why they made you a guard. What do you want? Man like you has clearly seen some action. Well, you know, I don't like to boast, but I've crushed a few heads. If you want to eat here, you have to work. You want a free ride? Try those white robes at the monastery. They'll give you a free ride all the way to their excavation camps. And keep your paws off other people's stuff while you're here. Or you'll lose your paws. I don't know. What do I want? You were looking at me. I'm new here. I'm just getting to know people. If you don't know I'm the best fighter in the camp, then you won't be near long enough for me to care. Hey. Hmm. I've not seen you before. Who are you? A fresh-faced young man eager to experience the thrill of an outlaw's life? Uh, maybe. I can't think why else you'd be here. There are warm ale houses and welcoming brothels in the town. Food and indoctrination at the monastery. Are you a woodcutter for the camp? Just because I'm cutting wood doesn't mean I'm a woodcutter. Actually, I'm a hunter. My lads and I provide meat for the camp. So you lead the hunters? Normally, yeah, but as you can see, I've got vital woodcutting work to do. So right now my hunters are running wild like free spirits, or they think they are. Can you teach me to hunt? Sure you wouldn't rather chop wood? I was thinking more of hunting. Then you're talking to the right man. Can you teach me about hunting? Show me how to gut animals. You slit the prey from the head toward the back. Then you pull the hide from the body with a jerk. With the right equipment, you can also remove animals' horns or teeth. Many hunters will sell you the necessary tools. Shouldn't you get someone else to cut the wood? I'd love to, believe me. But Brogar would nail me to a tree if I left this wood unsawn. Brogar? One of the Don's lieutenants. The leader of the fighters. A, shall we say, powerful, single-minded man. And you're his personal woodcutter? For my sins. Why does he want you to do it? I tangled with him, and now I have to pay. 
We live by Brogar's laws out here. Brogar's laws? Not the Don's? The Don wants me to hunt. Brogar wants his fire stoked. You judge who's really in charge. Why don't you stand up to Brogar? Him and all his fighters, you mean? So everyone's afraid of him. You clearly haven't met him yet. Then you'd understand. He's over there. Go and introduce yourself. Then decide whether you'd stand up to him. How can I become one of the Don's men? Huh. Firstly, I'll need to tell you a couple of things. The Don's a powerful man. Well, he was. Since we've been in this swamp, he's hidden in that temple. Hasn't been out for weeks. His wife, Rachel, has been trying to run the camp. She's the one you need to impress if you want to meet the Don. Rachel? Right. Before you charge up to her, you need to be aware of... Brogar? You're learning. Why can't I get to talk to the Don himself? If you can't get Rachel on your side, maybe you could get past the guard at the temple. Maybe. Sounds like it could be worth a try. True, but it's a long shot. Rachel might be your best way in. Can you teach me about hunting? Can you teach me about hunting? Teach me the right way to sneak. Moving quietly is about balance. Put your feet down, toes first. Watch where you step in. Brushing twigs underfoot can be noisy, give you away. So move slowly and watch your path. Hey. Did I look like I wanted to talk to you? Whoa there. Someone shoot your dog? Stupid and mouthy don't wash well round here. Especially not from workers. Seems to be working for you. You must be new round here. I'll tell you what, since you're new in this pond, little fish, I'll cut you a break. But after that, your bones will get the breaks. You hearing me? See, folks around here do what I say. Now enough questions. I'm hungry. Bring me a haunch of fried meat from Rachel, the cook up by the smithy. Bit snooty. But a looker. The Don's a lucky man. Of course, with him in that temple all the time, she might need a bit of... company. Things in the ruins. Things in the woods. There are things everywhere. the one they say. Then they say a lot of Put the weapon away. I mean it. Things in the ruins. Things in the woods. There are things everywhere. Hey, you don't look like the rest of the Don's men. Me? I'm the one the rest of them treats like dirt. Day in, day out, me and my workers try our best. And they need us, the bosses. But do they realize that? I wish they'd come and see what it's like. See if they like being eaten by swamp worms. Are you in charge of the workers here? Yeah, I'm supposed to oversee the workers at the excavations. But morale is so low that the men don't care anymore. So the excavations have stopped. They won't be happy when they find out. The Don's supposed to be a fair man, but Brogar isn't, and he should be protecting us. 
If any of my men were good at fighting, they'd have gone long ago. They'd be living it up in the bars and brothels of Harbour Town. Why is it so bad here? We keep losing men to the worms. And there are even worse fates too. I'd rather be anywhere else. But we have to collect anything made of gold and take it to Beppo. I didn't expect to have to fight the monsters here. We're not trained for it. And that bastard Brogar should be protecting us. But do his fighters ever come and help? Do they hell? Too drunk, most of them. If I'm going to take action, I'll need better armor. I can give you workers' clothes, that's all. And you'd have to pay. After all, you're not a worker. Why should I clothe you? We're all stuck on this island, in this swamp together. We might as well help each other. I'll see if I can get your workers back to work. You won't. If I can't, what chance does a stranger have? I can talk to Brogar for you. Don't. It'll only cause trouble. We've tried everything. Brogar's not going to listen to you. What can you tell me about Brogar? Nothing. I'm not telling you anything. I don't want trouble. You've already got trouble. Yeah, but I'm not dead. I'd rather take my chances with the worms than get Brogar angry. Brogar can't be that bad. Brogar is all bad. Ask the hunters. They'll tell you what he's capable of. Well, I offered to help. Are any of your workers around? They should all be at the excavation site. But that doesn't mean they will be. You'll recognize them. They'll be wearing workers' clothes, even if they've got no intention of working. Uncontrollable, most of them. That's what the swamp and being ignored does to you. How did you end up in charge of the workers? Don't think I volunteered. No way. The Don pointed his finger at me and said, you will oversee the excavations. And that was it. So the Don doesn't take no for an answer. Maybe I can do something to help. How many excavation sites are there? Three. One east of the temple, and two right in the middle of the swamp. Look for the artifact crates. They mean you're in the right place. Right. Who could teach me to pick locks? Town will be safe for a while, they say. They say. We live in a time of such temperatures rising. A little more for me. Could it be dangerous to us? No more peace and harmony. How are we going to eat? All the farmers in the town know hunters are going out to do trade. Failure. will be safe for a while, they say. They say. We live in a time of such nightmares. Temple is rising. I think that's cooked. Could it be dangerous to us? 
No more peace and hurry. You look what? tired. And you look ugly. Piss off. What are you doing here? I'm admiring the view. Great view. That's why we get all these tourists. Ha! Huh. That and the friendly locals. Nice warm fire, this. Nice and safe. Brogar send you to get on my nerves. I'm just making conversation. And I'm just telling you to piss off. Once this was all green oh, fields. I'm trying to Brown. sleep. You look relaxed. The busy mosquito is swatted at dawn. The happy snail does nothing but yawn. We're in a swamp. What's there to make an effort for? The dawn just lets you relax. Never see him. Beppo's always chasing us to hump crates round. All that effort for what? A pile of old crap. Hawkins is my boss, and if Hawkins doesn't care, Beppo can go screw himself. And Hawkins doesn't care about anything. Right. Hey, Dwight. You need to start shifting those crates over to Beppo. And who are you to be telling me what to do? Hawkins. He's not happy with you standing around. Really? Then he should come here and tell me personally. But he won't. So, save yourself the effort. You must have someone else to talk to. Don wants this, the Inquisitor wants that. What about what we want? Mm, what? I was sleeping. That worker, Dwight, really doesn't care about your orders. He's a lazy sod. And Beppo will go mad if he doesn't get those artifact crates soon. What do you suggest? Someone needs to give Dwight a beating. That's what I'll get for him not working. About time you took that attitude. Me? I'm not a fighter. I'm not doing it. And you wonder why things are like they are. Hey. Lost, are you? Don't you worry about it. I'll take care of you. Who are you? Craig. And if you want a fortune in gold, I'm your man. Think I'll keep my gold close to my skin? A little flutter never does any harm. Come on, loosen up. What odds do you offer? Ah, uh, you're interested. Ah, listen up. I'll explain. You give me a sum in gold. If you win, I'll pay you back double. And if I lose? There are no losers. Only future repeat gamblers. I'll just keep your gold warm until you want to try and win it back. How do I place a bet? Oh, nothing easier. We bet on anything here. Who'll be the next worker to get eaten by a swamp creature? The next winner in the arena? Anything. You can even bet on yourself. If you want to go into the arena. And can I be sure you'll pay out if I win? Oh, you of little faith. I'm hurt. If I wasn't honest, do you think I'd last two minutes around here? People fight for gold. Don't sound so surprised. People have fought for gold since time began. There's a small arena over in the west. That's where it happens. I bet you're worth a gamble. Tough looking fella like you. Is there somewhere around here I can train for combat? I wouldn't normally do this, but I'll train you if you like. Always good to get the inside skinny in case you go into the arena. Tell me more about the arena. It's all friendly. Just a few bruises and broken limbs. It isn't to the death. It's where we train and test ourselves. Well, if you fancy a fight, just challenge one of our fighters. If he accepts, he'll go into the arena with you. The fight starts when both willing volunteers are in the arena with their weapons drawn. The first fighter to go down loses. That's clear enough. Which of the fighters here are the best? Based on recent form, 
Ricardo's a loser. Lorenzo isn't too sharp either. Used to be all right. Faded a bit these days. I'd say Domingo is probably the best in camp. I want to improve my fighting skills. Now who could teach me to pick locks? I'm not a smith. Now who could teach me to pick locks? Stop where you are. You ain't going another step closer to the Don. Guarding. Guess that's a really important job. Most important in the camp. I make sure people don't just stroll in to see the Don. He's very against strolling in. And I'm not pissing Rachel off or I won't get any grub. So, move along. How do I get permission to speak to the Don? The Don is busy. He's thinking. Talk to his wife, Rachel. She's in charge. Right, I'll go and talk to her then. I ain't got no work for you. Go and see Sam or Hawkins and stop bugging me. Who are you? You here to relieve me? No. Huh. I've been waiting for Clay for hours. The sod should have relieved me long ago. What are you doing here? Are you standing guard? Yes, but I shouldn't be. I've been here so long, this godforsaken mud soaked through to my feet. What are you guarding? The swamp farmer. Without him, this place would be bleak. Bleak er. Uh. You don't like this place. Does this look like paradise to you? No taverns, no women, just swamp, disease, and mud. Thank the gods for the swamp farmer. At least he brings us our beer. What's here that's worth stealing? Not much, really. The problem's more those bloody animals everywhere. We could easily be overrun by wild boar, or worse. Are you one of the fighters here? I am out here. But when we were in the town, well, sleight of hands more my thing. Combat's for boneheads. I have a few real skills. Sneaking, opening locks, picking pockets. Proper, honest skills. No violence needed. Sounds good. I'll see if I can find Clay. Bring him here. I've had enough of this. I want to be a better thief.
Watch yourself. New here, right? It's that easy to tell. Ah. Don's boys already got on your nerves, eh? They're just bored. No imagination, you see. What do you do here? I tend the Bruegelweed here on Robar's farm. It's not the most noble of plants, but it's versatile. You can brew beer with it. You can, should you be of a mind, smoke it as well. The smoke has special properties, if you know what I mean. What do you know about the Don? I know enough not to mess with him. We used to be out here all alone, until they swept in and took the place over. But stick to his rules and he's a good man, if a hard taskmaster. Working in the fields isn't easy, but it gets you away from people. Space to think. Who is Robar? He's a salt of the earth fellow. He farms this swamp. Well, this field. Can you sell me some weed? Or beer? Surely can. And I have more to sell as well, if you're interested. What do you have to sell? You want me to ask nicely? Move those crates. You never heard that them that rushes to toil are the quickest to spoil? Hmm. Have you ever heard those that refuse to depart get a boot up their ass? All right, all right. No need to speak twice when once will do. I'm going, okay? Okay. Hey, what? You bet me from Hawkins. I need those crates moving. What crates? The ones full of artifacts. What else are we moving? Damn Hawkins. His workers should have delivered them by now. I knew it was too much responsibility for the old coot. What's in these artifact crates? Puppies. Artifacts? What do you think, genius? Everything that's dug up from the ruins gets crated up. But keep your mitts off them. If you're looking for gold, then do some work. You dig for the Don, then you'll get your share. I'll think about it. I've just arrived here. I'm not from anyone. Lazy more like. Bet you've never done a decent day's work in your life. So you're in charge of moving boxes, right? They're not just any old boxes. They're full of artifacts from the excavation sites. They get dug up, they come to me, and then they go to the Don. Oh, so you're not even moving boxes for yourself, then? When you get an important role here, then you can make jokes. 
Until then, shut your bleeding mouth. Let's talk sensibly. I can help you get your crates. <laughs> Think you can? All right. We'll get going and get them moving. No sense in asking if you know the magic word. What magic word? Here, you're not with that Inquisition lot, are you? Look, I'll have no magical nonsense around here. I sorted out your crate delivery problem. Really? Well, thanks. Good to see someone's applying themselves. Tell you the truth, I ain't sure why the Don wants all this gold. Ain't like there's much to spend it on in a swamp. Not that I've seen. Anyway, you've put me in a generous mood. Here's a little advance on your share. I'm sure you have things to deal with. <sighs> Are you the local I blacksmith? I couldn't sleep blacksmith. I look like I spend my days making fucking old shoes. I'm a pewterer, a gilder, a worker of fine metal. And I'm not looking for an apprentice, particularly one that doesn't know the difference between a metal worker and a smith. Do I look like an apprentice? You don't look like you've got the coin to be a customer. What you want? I'm looking for new weapons. Looking is for losers. Paying gets you the goods. Do you need help? I'm looking for work. No one here looks for work. The only thing people here look for is gold. And you don't look like you're any different. Do you work with gold? Gold. Gold. Nothing but gold. You just see the money in it, don't you? Well, there's no point you thinking about getting wealthy here. Every crumb of gold out there belongs to the Don. Everyone has to give their gold to the Don. If you know what's healthy for you, once a month you have to take the Don his share. And how much is his share? You see anyone round here looking wealthy? Not unless mud is the local currency. Well, you should see the gold he has in his temple. Hordes of it. Ha! I can see that look in your eye. Fancy a slice to you. You'll end up in pieces with those thoughts in your head. How do I get to see the Don? What do you want to see the Don for? Uh, try standing on a tree outside the temple. You're not going to get closer than that. There must be some way to see the Don. Something he wants. If it doesn't glitter, he doesn't give a toss. I wouldn't be surprised if one day he had his wife gold-plated. Is there something he wants then? Something in gold he doesn't have? We found a sword pommel. Beautiful bit of work. Supposed to belong to some garrison commander before he pissed off an ogre. You find the blade for that pommel that Donna kiss your airy ass. Fuck it, I would too. Where can I find this sword blade the Don wants? If you believe the stories, the ogre dragged the garrison commander off where those temple ruins are. If anyone has found anything there, they're bound to shoot their mouth off. Particularly seeing as those bits of blade will be covered in gold. There's a pisshead called Lewis, reckoned he'd seen something. But he's a sack of shit. So you want to restore the sword for the Don? If I can get all the pieces. Can't do jack shit without all the pieces. Have you got any sword blanks? It's just what I got here. My stock of ore is empty. You bring me some iron ore, I can make you some blanks. I'll find the blade the Don wants. You want to look for it? Be my guest. But you take one piece of that blade for yourself, one bit of glittering gold, I'll hear about it. I wouldn't dream of it. Ah! 
A little more for me. Looks good. Job done. You needn't worry about those things in the excavation site anymore. You killed them? Right. 30 gold coins, wasn't it? Worth every one. Thanks. Pleasure talking to you. Right. I'll look forward to our next conversation. Come on, let's go kill this rot worm. That's the spirit? Right. Ready your weapon and stay close to me.
see, that's what being a hunter is all about. The thrill of the hunt, the buzz of the kill. Oh, that's made my week, that has. I've killed that worm. You don't need to worry about it. One less worm is no bad thing. Here, have 30 gold for your trouble. Hey, if you're going to the camp, can you take this raw meat with you? They always need food there. Just give it to Rachel, the cook. I'm going to stay here, see if I can spot my next challenge. See why people don't stand up to Brogar? A few bruises won't stop me. You're lucky it wasn't stab wounds. His armor and those fighters make him feel tougher than he is. For you, maybe. For me, that's why I don't tangle with him. The temple guard wouldn't let me in. Do you think he'd invite you in for a beer? He's a guard, remember? He'd love to have something for the Don. A gift, information, something valuable. What sort of gifts? Oscar the Smith will tell you. He's helped a lot of people impress the Don. Oscar's good with gold. And as I say, the Don rather likes unusual things that glitter. I heard something about pieces of a sword. A sword decorated with gold? Oscar's looking for pieces just like that. I also know that Brogar's got one. Which you might say is something of an obstacle. I bet Oscar's tried to get it which means it won't be easy or cheap for you to persuade Brogar to part with it. True, but I'm sure this sword will get me in to see the Don. If it glitters, it will catch his eye. Then getting the sword could get me in. You'll need all the pieces. Then you'd need Oscar to work his magic, if that's even possible. <laughs> and then you'll need Oscar to be willing to give the sword back to you. It's not an easy thing to do. None of it. I wonder where the pieces are. If they're all decorated with gold, people won't just give them away. Well, you know Brogar has one. You might like to check out the workers. They're in the middle of things. They see what gets dug up. And they're likely to keep some things quiet. When a man has nothing, a little is a lot. Brogar is a big fish in a small pond. And those are giant words. So big, I don't think you know what you're saying. I know some people wouldn't have a problem if he disappeared. I won't be responsible for what Brogar would do to you. Let me worry about that. You should worry. But you're serious, aren't you? What would I have to do to deal with him? If you work for him, do what he tells you and listen to everything he says. it will let things slip. But you do know what you're proposing is dangerous. I could help you. Helpful sort, aren't you? You better not have landed me in it with Brogar. But then one's trouble is another's ease. Rachel needs this meat, so she'll be happy. Take note, sometimes it's better to take sides than end up in the middle. Where do I find this Rachel? She's usually cooking, in front of the temple. I need some better armor. You won't find it out here. There's only workers' clothes here. Well, what about your armor? Where did that come from? Armor for the hunters and fighters comes from the Don. But you won't get close to that if you're not accepted as one of us. Right, so I've got to join the Don's gang first. All right, where can I get workers' clothing? 
Hawkins is your man. He's one of the Don's lieutenants. He's in charge of the workers. About Brogar. How does Rachel feel about him? She's soft. Brogar bullies her. And she's like that even though the Don's behind her. You might cut his wood, but I don't want to end up as Brogar's lackey. What does he want you to do? He wants a haunch of meat. Do it. Get it for him. Why should I feed him? If you want to get in with Brogar, bring him what he wants. Make him trust you, but show him you mean business. That you can be an asset to him, not another slavish camp worker. If he thinks you're clever and that you can't be bullied, he'll take notice. Who knows about Brogar and wouldn't mind talking to me? Talk to Lewis, one of my hunters. He knows a few things, more than you'd think. Start with him, see what he says. About your hunting. I met a hunter called Yan. You haven't mentioned him. He got himself posted as a guard on the road to Harbour Town. We never see him back here these days. That's another hunter less feeding the camp. What can you tell me about your hunters? Well, there's Lewis. I haven't seen him for days. I expect he's under a rock in the swamp. Not even the swamp flies bother him when he's had a skimful. Doug should also be in the swamp. He should be hunting. But I haven't seen him for days either. And of course you know what delightful tasks I have to do. Doug has been successful. He's given me some meat for the camp. We needed that. You'd better take it to Rachel if you haven't given it to her already. I'm afraid none of the fighters will come to help you. Oh, oh yeah, I thought so. For fighters, they aren't very keen on fighting. Thanks for trying, though. What do you know about a sword? A golden one? Well, I've heard stuff. And I thought I may have found a piece of it back at the excavation site. Have you still got it? I was about to dig it out when those insects came. I wonder if it's still there. You can go back to work. The insects are gone. Are they really gone? Gone. Dead. Deceased. Okay. You seem like the honest type. I'd best be getting back to work then. Smells good. You must be hungry, if you're happy to take food from strangers. We used to have a whole town. Now we just gotta... Womp. You gotta grab any meal you can get. Someone in your position ought to be more careful. Who knows what you're being fed. No one would dare mess with my grub. And if you're thinking about it, then also think about what your entrails look like. Because you'll see them pretty fast if you mess with me. Hawkins says you're meant to be protecting his workers. Hawkins says, does he? You promised Hawkins if he paid, you'd protect him. You worried about him. You protect him. Right. You're a real man of honor. Got any proper work for me? Are you actually good for something, little fish? 
Easy to be cocky with that weapon and fancy armor of yours. Nah. It's all the bodies I buried that make me cocky. Two of my boys are supposed to be guarding the eastern swamp farm. But Clay's been lazing around the campfire. Go and see him. Make sure he takes over from Phil before Phil rots up there. Simple. I'm not losing another man to this fucking swamp. Do you boys do anything other than stand about all day? They're guarding. What do you expect? When it comes to standing around all day, these guys are the best. Trained killers, though, the lot of them. And if those creatures from the temples march in here, you'll be damn glad of them. So, show a little respect. Why are you making Sam saw wood for you? What business is it of yours, little fish? You've had some firewood. Now let him get back to hunting. And if I don't get wood for my fire, I'll be pissed off. You're pissing into the wind if you wait for Rachel to organize anything. You want something here, you have to take it. Yeah. I'm beginning to understand that. The fighters answer to you, right? Yeah. Most of them owe their lives to me. One way or another, they know not to mess with a big fish. So you know where they are at all times? Of course. Well, usually. One of them has gone missing. Dorgan was on an errand for me, down in the swamps. The Pillock's probably got himself lost or eaten, or he's chasing wenches again, never could keep his mind on the task in hand. I'll look for him. When I get my hands on him, he's gonna be emptying piss pots for the next month. You seem to be a man who hears a thing or two. Have you heard anything about a broken sword blade? What good is a sword in pieces to anyone? Worthless junk! Only one who'd be interested in that is that blacksmith. And you, apparently. What's that about, then? Do you know where the pieces of the sword blade are? I know where one piece is. I've got it. Question is, what will you do to get it? Did you know Ricardo isn't at his post? At the swamp excavation site? You telling tales now? Just being helpful. Well, unless you've got orders from me, stay out of my business. What? Shouldn't you be standing guard by the swamp farm? Piss off. I don't care what you think of Brogar, but you see, now I am telling you to get out on guard duty. You are? That's right. There's a reason Brogar didn't come himself. Now I'll show you. All right then, you bastard. Again.
Are you gonna stand guard now, or are we gonna fall out? I'm going, I'm going. Have you come across a piece of a sword blade? The one Oscar's trying to piece together. He wants to make a sword for the Don, I believe. And? And I might have a piece of it. Oscar tried to buy it from me, in fact. But he wasn't offering enough, so I thought I'd hang on to it. Will you sell me your piece of the sword? It'd have to be for, uh, ooh, no less than 100 gold. That's a deal. What, really? Fine. Well, here it is. I've decided to fight in the arena. That's what I wanted to hear. Well done. Do yourself proud. Remember, once either man hits the ground, the fight's over. Carrying on when your opponent's on the dirt, well, that's not fair play, is it? You'll pay dearly if you break that rule. Right. Does Brogar ever fight in the arena? You looking to lose bits of yourself? Just ask him will be risking your skin. Forget it. That's my advice. Why? He's not one to mess with. Arena fighting's a game. Rogar doesn't play games. Neither do I. You'd be a good opponent. Why don't you fight me in the arena? Ah, I should have seen that coming. Think about it. This is my domain. I even bet on myself. Well, you got spirit, but try someone easier. I want to make a bet. Fabulous. What do you want to gamble on? I'll fight Ricardo and win. Ah, uh, well, that's not too hard a prospect. Lousy odds, so your winnings won't be great. <laughs> 